what do you think you have to do in Manitoba to make a bigger splash than you have? I think that Manitobans, you know, if we talk about the, the Keystone province, Manitoba represents a lot of what people are going through. It can vary a fair bit from the Pacific to the Atlantic and to, to the Arctic. But I think that Manitobans represent a lot of what the average Canadians are going through. So when I come here and I talk about gas prices, I know that it's resonating a lot with people in Manitoba. They want a federal government standing up strongly on these issues and representing them. They don't understand that the Conservatives and the Liberals stopped all investment in social housing in this country. We know that that housing stock is now very old and it needs repair. But if a kid grows up in a house full of mold and mildew, guess what? It's going to affect his health. It's going to affect his own ability to study and to get out of the cycle of poverty that he might have been born into. That's why the federal government has a role. This is a common sense role for government in our society. Under the Conservatives, we're being told that we have to settle for less. That there's nothing that can be done. That this is just the way it is. Removing $36 billion from transfers for, uh, um, for um, health insurance, as far as the Conservatives are concerned, get used to it. There's, nobody's going to take care of you. I remember hearing a couple of weeks ago James Moore, the federal minister, say, it's not his problem if his neighbor's kid can't eat. Well, guess what? We consider that it is our responsibility to take care of each other, whether it's making sure that free, universal public medical care is fully funded in this country so that nobody has to choose between paying the rent and having a sick child go to the doctor. Those are reflections of fundamental values. We're the only ones talking openly and passionately about that. And that's the type of government that we're proposing in 2015.